In this video, we're going to talk about what makes Concord, North Carolina, one of the top 25 cities to live in in the United States, according to Money Magazine. I'm Sir Ashley, your local Charlotte area real estate advisor. And we're gonna talk about how Concord climbed up to number 24 on the list of top cities to live in because of the schools, its attraction, the housing cost, that's a big one, and the cost of living as a whole. I know, I know, everyone wants to jump into the attractions of what Concord has to offer and the fun things to do. But first, let's be responsible and talk about the schools. Yes, Concord is a very small city, but it has five elementary schools that have a rating of eight or better out of 10, according to greatschools.com. Five elementary schools. And it has two high schools in the area that has a rating of eight out of 10 or better. For such a small city, it has some good, if I dare not say, excellent schools that are available for its residents. All right, now let's talk about how people can get around in the Concord area if they do not have a car. Concord has a transit system, a bus system, that makes it very accessible and easy to travel between Concord and Kannapolis, another suburb of the greater Charlotte area, and it'll take you all the way into Charlotte, the university area of Charlotte, and that just makes it so much easier because once you get the bus to the university area of Charlotte, you can jump onto the link system, the rail system in Charlotte, and get to anywhere you need to be within the city. All right, I'm gonna keep you a little bit longer because before we get into attractions, we're gonna talk about the housing cost. Concord's median home price is $255,000, and the median price for a three-bedroom house in Concord is $233,000. Both of those are significantly lower than the national average or national median price of $320,000. Talk about a bang for your buck, it doesn't get much better. Overall, the cost of living in Concord is lower than that of Charlotte and most of the other suburbs surrounding the area. If you're interested in relocating to Concord or any of the greater Charlotte area, feel free to reach out to me. I relocated to the area a little over 11 years ago, shortly after law school, and fell in love with the area. I've left a couple times, but I've always came back because it is truly a great place to stay because you can't beat the weather coupled with the housing cost and the cost of living. It doesn't get much better than this greater Charlotte area. Now, let's jump into the topic you all have been waiting for. Let's talk about the attractions that Concord has to offer. First and foremost, you cannot talk about Concord and the greater Charlotte area without bringing up NASCAR. Concord is home of the Charlotte Motor Speedway. The complex hosts 84,000 seats, and during the summer, when races aren't going on, it also is the venue for a drive-in for classic movies like Ferris Bueller's Day Off or Grease. It is truly a great time for the family. Now this one I know a lot about. When I practiced law full time, I spent a lot of time in the historic downtown part of Concord. Now while I don't like the courthouse and the DAs in the courthouse, historic downtown Concord is very cute and has a lot to offer. Yes, I said cute, because it is tiny, but it offers a lot. It offers a museum, an art gallery, a library, a French chocolate shop, and several different bars and restaurants, along with Cabo Winery. It is a perfect place for millennials like myself to hang out and just relax. Concord also has a sea aquarium, as well as a go-karts at the Concord Mills. Shopping, ooh, tons of shopping, now, one of the great things that I like about Concord is the Renaissance Festival. No, it did not take place this year, thanks 2020, but the Renaissance Festival is a very good time. I recommend to everyone to go experience the Renaissance Festival in Concord if you have the opportunity. You will have a good time. Last but not least is the Cabarrus Brewing Company. It is a brewery in Concord and they have excellent beers. You have to try the Vanilla Blonde Coffee Beer. Yes, it's a weird name, but if you like beer, you have to give it a try. And after you try it, report back to us and let us know what you think. Before we wrap this up, I have to talk about employment. Employment in Concord has grown 33% since 2010. Yes, it hit a little snag due, the due to the pandemic, like everything else, but it is quickly rebounding. Concord is a popular destination for very good reason. Now there is a shortage of inventory for homes for sale, but there's tons of new construction taking place 
in Concord right now. So if you need help relocating to Concord, please reach out to me and my team and I would love to help you. You can give me a call or shoot a text. We are licensed real estate professionals in North and South Carolina and help people in all price points. We are your go-to real estate advisors and make sure that your interests are being looked out for and covered. I'm Sir Ashley, your go-to for all things real estate. Talk soon.